time for me to get a haircut. <laughs> What up, music tubers? How's it going? I didn't. I was gonna start talking inside the Costco, but it was a little noisy, so I figured I'd wait till I get back in the car. I'm out and about running some errands right now. Later I have to go teach, and then I'm gonna be hanging out with Claire for a little bit. Uh, but I needed to take care of a bunch of stuff, so I figured just start vlogging now, and I'll take you on with me. So far, all I've done is I got my hair trimmed. You know, for as little hair as I have on my the sides of my head now, it feels really great to get it shaved off and just see that thick little clump the little thick little clumps of hair just fall off and got a fresh new fade especially now and it's getting to be summertime in Santa Clarita this is more of a high desert area so it gets hot really fast and it, you can feel the burn much more here in the summertime it's probably if I were to guess right now I haven't turned on the car but it's probably somewhere between 80 to 90 degrees out right now and it's only noon next stop target you have got to be kidding me it is not 76 degrees out it feels like an oven in here had to grab some dry shampoo when i decide not to wash my hair my hair gets really really oily I usually wash it like every other day, but if I don't wash it and no dry shampoo, it's not a pretty sight. So dry shampoo for the win. Okay, I have to do a little work from my laptop today. The reason why is because I have a little, a little less than an hour now to get ready before I have to go teach. I have to get some stuff, prepare a little extra early because I'm spending the night at Claire's house tonight. I think I mentioned this already, but it's Pride Week and we're going to a little shindig tonight, but we also have rehearsal tomorrow really, really early. And I don't know about you, but I don't want to have to get up at 6 a.m. to drive down for 9 a.m. rehearsal. Well, yeah, no, I'd still have to get up at 6 a.m. Get up at 6 a.m. to drive down for 9 a.m. rehearsal. I probably wouldn't leave till like seven, but it takes like two hours with the morning commute and I only have gone to bed at probably at 2 a.m. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. I asked her if it was okay to spend the night. She said yes, and so we got it all worked out, but we have to record some Music Monday tracks. So I'm gonna be looking up some stuff and then printing it out right here. Okay, I think I might've found some good ones. Oh, the printer is already on. JK. All right, now I gotta take a shower. Okay, let's go. done with that student for right now and now I'm on to my usual break except that my break is a little bit longer than usual two of my students are canceled well one is just taking a break for the summer but the other one canceled so now I have like an hour and a half to kill so I'm gonna take advantage of that and practice but first I'm gonna get some tea <laughs> a green tea type of girl but you know it's good to change it up every once in a while and it's iced so that really bittery flavor is not gonna come through as much although I actually like my tea a little bitter okay now I'm back in the recording studio this is where I'm teaching today I know I never really get a chance to film much of where I work here 
just because there's normally kids and you know might be a little I don't know if the parents would really feel so good about me filming their kids just for a vlog but this is where I'm teaching today two students unfortunately normally it's more though I'm just gonna grab my little bite and talk to you while I lunch down mm. you know the fact that my students didn't show was actually a little bit of a blessing in disguise because I usually always try to get my practicing done before I go out to teach because normally by the time I've finished teaching the day I'm so tired I don't even want to think about playing I literally just drive home eat dinner and slump on the couch and watch RuPaul's Drag Race for like two hours because it's a two-hour episode now but today I didn't really get a chance to practice that much beforehand just because there were these errands I just needed to take care of today and because I was sleeping over at Claire's you know made things a little harder normally after I teach I have a little more time to go home so I can prepare for the next day but this is not the case today because I'm not going home after this and so I had to do a bunch of errands and then I didn't really get a chance to practice before but now I have like a good hour and a half or so before I teach my next kid so I'm gonna just practice right now after I finish eating this actually I'm done for now well I'm gonna set up my clarinet Check this reed. Hopefully it's a winner. Actually, I think this is the poo poo reed that I was trying out yesterday. I'm gonna try this other one. Good call. All right, now I'm gonna go practice for a little bit. All right, it's almost 5.30 now, so I'm gonna put my clarinet away because the next student I have is a piano student. Yeah, my clarinet student even didn't even show up today. So I'm gonna break down my clarinet here and then I'm gonna get ready to teach my next kid for a half hour. All right, just finished teaching for the day. Oh, let me grab my makeup back. Now I'm gonna head over to Claire's. You know, I'm really happy that I got to get all of my stuff done for today, or at least I got my practicing done for today. It's not always going to be the case that I can get every little thing done in one day, especially when I've been, I was running around all day doing errands, you know, just taking care of stuff before I had to leave to go teach and then right after go to Claire's but you know what you know you can always get it done and just like I showed you back there it's like I didn't have time to practice before because I had to take care of errands so I made time between my break to practice it was especially important for me to practice because we have rehearsal at 9 a.m. tomorrow although I'm sure I'll be able to warm up a little bit but it might be kind of early but you know what I didn't want to chance it I wanted to come to rehearsal prepared know my music and not have to worry about oh, am I gonna have it memorized or not I just you know, I just took care of it when I had the time. That And that's when I had the time. I had an hour and a half break to get a little food, practice, and I got it done. And I was really proud of myself for being able to do that. You know, on certain days, that's not always going to be the case. But for me, it's important that every day I do the most that I can. Sometimes that's just going to be maybe practicing. Sometimes the most I can do if I'm really having a bad day is get out of bed, take a shower, and make sure I feed myself and water myself. And you know what? Some days that'll be enough for me. But, you know, I'm the type of person that likes to push myself and go as hard as I can every day. And that makes me really happy that I can do that. And I'm not just saying that just because I feel like I have to do that. That's just the way I am. Maybe it's because I was raised by a mom that she does that all the time for herself. She, has, she always does the most that she can every day. And maybe that influenced me a lot. Probably did a little bit, but I think that's also a little bit naturally who I am as a person. So anyways, I'm gonna cut the vlog off here. I'm gonna head off to Hollywood where I'm gonna go enjoy my time with my friends and have a good time. 
and not have, again, trying to not have the camera so much in my face and worrying about that as much. Although I'm sure there'll be some vlogs in the future where I have the camera where we're all hanging out together, but tonight's just not gonna be one of those times. Anyways, I'll talk to y'all later. If you like this vlog, make sure to like it, make sure to subscribe to my channel if you already haven't so you can watch the next episode and catch you on the flip side. Talk to you later guys, bye.